when you have something that is hot, like our cream mixture here, and then you have something cold, like your egg mixture here, if you add this hot mixture directly to the cold mixture, it will curdle the eggs and cook them and you'll end up with scrambled eggs, which is not what we want here. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny little measuring cup, about an eighth of a cup, and you're going to, well first of all, you're going to make sure that your white chocolate is really well blended. Because again, this is a custard, so if you have white chocolate pieces that have not completely melted, you're going to end up with chunky brulee, and that's, that's not as appetizing. So take about two tablespoons worth of your hot cream, and we're going to whisk the eggs and whisk the cream directly into the eggs like this. Okay? This will help temper the, the temperature and keep those eggs from curdling like we were talking about. You're going to keep doing this. You're going to just gradually raise the temperature. And start incorporating it like this. Once you've gotten several tablespoons of your hot mixture in, it'll be fine to go ahead and add the rest. Okay. And be careful not to spill. That's a waste of good custard. Okay. And just keep whisking until smooth. This is also when you want to add your vanilla. If you add your vanilla directly to the cream while it's simmering, you might lose some of your flavor. Um, anything that you want to have a really strong flavor in a recipe, whether it's an extract or a spice um, or anything like that, you want to add as close to the end of the recipe as possible um, because otherwise it'll cook through too much and you could lose a lot of that valuable essence. So just whisk this until smooth, and you're going to let it set for a few minutes, and then pour it into your ramekins, like so. I have two black ramekins I'm using for elegant purposes. And you can use uh, classic white ramekins. I have a few of those as well. So you can you can pour these into whatever you like, whatever makes you happy. As long as it is bake proof and heat proof, because these will be going into a water bath in the oven. And you don't want them melting or deteriorating in any way, so make sure that whatever you use is safe to bake. 